Welcome back to the Ninja Outbreak commentary track. Uh, last time we talked to Dr. Yefimovich and opened up the game world quite a bit. Uh, so before I go to uh, where I'm going to head next, which is the old super soldier lab um, where I'll get the first ninja heart, I will show you. This door is now open. That lead leads to one of the weapons labs. Um, this door over here is now open, which leads to the other weapons lab. This door up here, um, as you can see, it's got no power, which means I need to get the lightning gun in order to open it. So that's not available to me. So as it stands now, um, if I were to walk around here, uh, I could reach these two weapons labs. I could reach the old super soldier lab. Um, I can read the mess hole, um, which has some stuff going on it, which I'll show you later. Uh, and I can reach the dormitories, but I can't go all the way through the dormitories without the rocket launcher. So with that being said, um, I'm going to head to the old super soldier lab and get the first ninja heart, which will uh, make things generally easier in the future because it'll weaken any ninjas that I run into. Uh, oh, the other place I can, of course, reach right now is the North Lab uh, up this way and go to the final area of the game, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I am instead going to go over here, save, and head into the uh, old Super Soldier Lab. Uh, go ahead and open up this green door. And uh, so this, one of the things I decided to do with uh, some of the areas, this one in particular, but also the infirmary, um, I, you know, you want to build tension to a certain degree, and you can't do that if the player is constantly being attacked. So I have this area here where it's empty. There are no enemies in this area. Well, there's one enemy in this area up until you get the ninja heart. But for the most part, you can just kind of wander around it, explore, you can read, um, uh, you know, stuff on the computers. Um, hmm, I wonder what that could mean. Anyway, never mind that. Um, I'm going to, you know, uh, you can find out about uh, Project Rasputin um, and the uh precursors to Project Rasputin, get a bit of the backstory of what's going on, um, and also this will foreshadow the enemies you'll eventually face in this area once you've read the Ninja Heart, which are uh, the first super soldier serum caused people to horribly mutate and liquefy, and you'll be fighting the uh, remnants of that. But uh, before I go up to get the heart, uh, there is some other important stuff I want to get here. Uh go on these computers. Uh, so here is another bit of an info dump. I can get the map. So I can see the map here. Um, this shows my location and also just the general layout. Um, I can also get read the staff list. Interesting, there's a name missing from that. And, of course, uh, I can find out where the other ninja hearts are uh, other than the one that is in this lab, which will give you, uh, will give the player a bit of guidance as to where they should look. Um, this also gives you a bit of a clue to the only puzzle in the game, but uh, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but what I will say is that this uh, bit of text here is uh, another Godfrey Ho reference. Um, the description uh, of those... Uh, let me go see that again. The four betrayers are uh, the four characters of uh, Ninja Terminator. We've got uh, you know, the three characters in the main plot and who got the three parts of the Golden Ninja Warrior. And uh, we've got uh, Jaguar Wong here, uh, the legs, because uh, his character kicks a lot. Um, and it was a fan theory of mine and my friends that uh, Jaguar Wong 
actually got the uh, never seen uh, legs of the Golden Ninja Warrior, thus explaining his kicking acumen. Uh, there's a secret passage through here, um, which uh, just gives you a bit of a shortcut and also access to some items. Um, so I'll go ahead and grab those. So that'll make it a little bit easier to get out of here when the time comes. Uh, I'm gonna head up here. Uh, there's just more side rooms over here. Uh, what's in here? Ah, good. Shotgun. That's important for this bit coming up. I had forgotten where I had placed a lot of the items in this game, so uh, I'm kind of rediscovering this to a certain degree. So here we have a long twisting corridor. You can see through these windows the uh, you know testing rooms uh, where the subjects were kept, and there's items in them, um, and you cannot access these rooms until you've grabbed the heart, at which point there is danger. Um, so there's a bit of a risk reward in that you can see what's in all these rooms right now, so you know what you want out of them if you do. Oh, let me take care of this guy. Uh, but there will be things attacking you, which you'll see in a moment, and so you have to weigh the, you know, benefits of going after those items. So, um, I'm gonna grab the heart and we get introduced to the Golden Ninja Warrior. Uh, there are four Golden Ninja Warriors in the game. Um, they emerge whenever you grab the hearts and will follow you uh, for the rest of the game, basically. Uh, the only place they won't follow you is... Ooh, ooh, careful there. Is the North Lab. Um, they can walk through walls, but they walk very slowly, and if they hit you, it is a one-hit kill. Um, and as I mentioned, they can go from room to room. So when I leave this area, it'll still be following me um, and will continue. Uh, they, If they get a significant distance away from you, they'll just wander from room to room somewhat at random until they get close enough to start following you again. But they will just remain within the game world. Um, so that, that was kind of a way to balance the... Uh, the fact that the hearts make the game ostensibly easier because uh, ninjas take less hits to kill when you have more hearts. So it was a way to balance it so that, you know, the, the hearts make it easier, but the Golden Ninja Warrior then in turn makes it harder. So you've got to balance whether you want to grab those early on or wait till later or at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get some of these items. Um, Hopefully avoid that guy. You'll also, if you listen, you'll notice that there's a heart beating noise that happens whenever the uh, Golden Ninja Warrior is near. That gives you a bit of a warning to its presence because sometimes they can kind of sneak up on you, you know, walk out of walls and such. So at the very least, you know they're nearby and so can stay away from walls. Uh, so that uh, shortcut we opened up earlier means we don't have to deal with that guy. Uh, so I'm just going to go through that, save a bit of ammo. And head out. And thus, that is the uh, first uh, ninja heart acquired, and that is the old Super Soldier Lab. Uh, I'm not going to wait around here, but if I did, eventually that Golden Ninja Warrior would walk out here and keep following me. But uh, I don't want to spend too much time doing that, so instead uh, I am going to call it for this episode, um, and next time we are going to head to uh, the Weapons Labs. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to do first, but uh, we'll find out next time. All right.